All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google call only ads. So Google call only ads are a type of search ad that displays on mobile devices only. So if we go on Google and just type in what it looks like, this is what they look like when they show up in the Google search. You can see here it shows up with a big phone number and then you got your headlines and your descriptions underneath. And what happens with these, unlike regular search ads, is that when someone clicks this, it actually calls you instead of going to your website. So they're very similar to the text ads that you can run on Google search. It's just that they call you instead of linking to your website. Now, these can be a good option if your site's not optimized or for some reason you don't want to make landing pages for the Google ads. This is a way to do it where you don't have to make the whole website side of things. You can just run the campaign. So I'm going to show you how to set these up now in Google ads starting from zero. So what you can actually do is you can set up a whole new campaign for these, which is what I would recommend doing. Or you can add them to your current ad groups as it is and just let them rotate in your ads. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. The reason why is because because you're not going to be able to track that specific ad and how well it's doing compared to everything else. So it's always good to segment things out where possible so that you can actually see what the results are. Now, if you're going to set these up, the first thing you actually want to do is go into goals, conversions, and set up a phone call conversion so that you can set this specific campaign to optimize just for those conversions. Because that's the other reason you want to make a separate campaign. You don't want this to optimize for, let's say, website conversions because people are not going on the website. So what you would want to do is create a new conversion action and and you'd want to set up phone calls and then you would want to click this one here calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads and you would hit continue and now you would call it something like phone call from call only ad for instance and for this one especially if you're generating leads which is typically the case with these you would just not set a value i wouldn't and i would also select how many conversions to count per click i would select one the reason why is because if you select every what's going to happen is if the same person for some reason clicks the ad twice or on two different occasions it's going to count as two different leads but technically it's the same person if you want to count every single one then you can click every but i would go with one now the other thing you can do here is set the call length so for instance if you want to eliminate any very short calls which are usually, let's say, unqualified or you don't want to count them as an actual conversion, you can set the minimum time that you, on average, require for it to realistically be a qualified lead. And you can set that here. So typically that might be 60 seconds, it might be 90 seconds, somewhere in that range. The click-through conversion window, this is not very relevant for this conversion because if someone's going to click this, they're basically going to click it straight away. So I would just leave that to 30 days. And also the attribution, I would just leave that on data-driven as well. You could theoretically use last click but just leave data driven and just leave it there. That's what I would recommend. So you would hit create and continue, let this thing set itself up. And now you can use this as an actual conversion action for your ad. So if we go back now, we'll make a new campaign. We'll hit create campaign to make a new one. And here where you want to select this, you can select either leads or you can create a campaign without a goals guidance. It's totally up to you. For this particular example, I'm just going to select leads. And you can see now we have phone call leads. That's the one we just set up. And so right now it says no reason conversions it's fine it's inactive because we haven't actually clicked it but you might get that if this is new but typically it'll be fine as soon as the first person clicks it so you want to make sure that you only have this conversion action on this particular campaign you don't want to have conversion actions of things like website leads and things like that because typically speaking you're not sending people to the website you want it to optimize for this now you want to hit continue and in here you would want to select search if you're running these on search ads i would recommend you run them on search obviously display and things like that if you're running like a local calls business usually search is the best you want to hit phone calls here you don't want to hit website visits you want to hit phone calls and now you would need to put in your phone number now the best way to do this is to put it this way and i'm just going to put a random number in but you want to do it in the brackets and then like that right and the reason why is because it's going to first of all it looks cleaner but second of all it's going to catch more attention than if you were to put it like this it doesn't really look as good and it's not even that clear that it's a phone number so you want to just make sure that you catch people's attention and make it look like the right thing otherwise people might not click it so you want to do that now give it a name so i'm just going to call this call only ads and typically i like to do clicks which is going to be the bidding strategy we'll use and i'll use that in a minute and then i'll put the date that we launched this that's how i usually structure my campaign so you know exactly what's going on the other thing you can also do is like what area so for this one i'll just put auckland but that's how i would structure my campaign names because then you know exactly what the campaign is and we'll hit continue all right so now if this is a brand new campaign which it probably is if you're watching this video i would recommend that you start out with clicks as the bidding strategy to begin with so what i typically do is i run a clicks campaign 
campaign for about a month, maybe two months and get a baseline of how this performs. And then after a month or so, I will go in, I will copy this campaign and I will make the new one optimized for conversions and then compare the results between the two. Because sometimes the conversions campaign doesn't perform that well when you don't have any data in the account. You need to have some conversions in there so Google knows what to optimize for. So my recommendation is start off with maximize clicks. Now here you could in theory click this. I wouldn't touch this for now, but you could test this out later if you want to see if that's going to help improve anything. We'll go with next. Now I will untick this. I recommend you don't tick this. This is usually just a waste of money. The next thing you want to do is set the location you want to target. So in this particular case, all right, I'm going to target the city of Auckland and I'm going to hit presence. So people actually in or regularly in the targeted location. If you select the interest one, this is also going to show up for people who might not necessarily be in this area. So the problem with this is if someone from Australia or from America is searching like whatever in Auckland, they're unlikely to actually call you. So you don't want to pay for that. So what you want to do is pay for the people who are actually in the location. You can leave it in English. Now with audience segments, what you can do is add all of the different audiences you think might be interested in whatever it is you're selling. Now, I would make sure that you have set this as observation to begin with. The reason why is because you don't want this account actually optimizing for an audience that you're not sure is actually going to perform well. However, by adding them as an observation, what's going to happen is it's going to collect data on those audiences and you can see if it's worth targeting them specifically with a different campaign. So what you would do then is you'd make a new campaign or duplicate this one, hit targeting and then set them to target that specific audience. But right now for a new campaign, campaign, you want to leave it as unbiased as possible. So hit it on observation. And then in here, you can select different people. So let's say, for instance, if this is like a law firm, you could try and target people interested in that. So for now, you can just leave this. If you want to add anyone, you can go to new segment, you'd have to go to the audience manager and create an actual audience. You can select whether you want to do website visitors or customer list or Google Analytics. So you'd obviously have to have some data on this stuff in order to actually add them in here. And since right now we don't have anything because it's a new account, obviously you'd have to leave it. So you'd have to run the ads for a little while, collect the data, and then you could start segmenting this as well. You can always come back in and add them for observation too. Now, broad match keywords, obviously you can just leave this right now because we're not using conversions. You can come back and set this if you want to do this. I would not recommend doing this though, generally speaking. You want to have control over the keywords and then set them manually as broad match in your account if you want. I wouldn't do this personally. I don't think this is a good idea. Now, under more settings, what I would recommend you do is don't do this. I would do do not optimize and then go in and manually take a look at your ads and optimize those ads over time. What happens here is if you select this, Google sometimes very quickly just attributes one ad as a better performing ad and prioritizes that one. And then the other ones don't get any clicks. But the problem is the other ones can sometimes perform just as good, if not better. So I always like to have the most control over my account. Let me see what's happening and then adjust accordingly. So that's why I recommend this. And now I would also recommend the ad schedule being set. This is especially important for this type of campaign because people are actually calling the phone number. And if nobody's there to answer the phone call, you're wasting money on clicks that you're not getting any leads from. So what you would do is go in here and select the times that you're actually able to take phone calls. Let's say Monday to Friday between nine and five, for instance, and then you want to set that so that your ad only shows between those times. So you don't pay for phone calls that are after hours for no reason. So remember this, this is very important. Other than that, you can basically leave the rest of these as they are in most cases and just hit next. And so now you got the ad group that you're setting up. So what I recommend you do for this is do some proper keyword research and segment all your keywords into different ad groups. Now I made an entire video on how to do that. I'll put the link above, go watch that video before completing this step, because you're going to need that. It's going to help you get the best results for this, where you basically segment all your different keywords into different appropriate ad groups and then put them in here based on topic. So you'd want to do that, come back, then put your keywords in here for the first ad group. We'll just leave this as ad group one, but you could rename this. Let's say it's family law is the first keyword. And then like another one would be like divorce and another one would be a different type of law. Let's say it's a law firm. I'm just using this as an example. And then in here you'd have like family law. So that's just an example. The next step you do once you have the keywords done is you would want to go make the actual ad. So you would have the call ad. This is how you set it up. What you need to do is add the phone number. So we had the phone number in there before. We will just put the random number. Google's already filled this out as you can see here from the one we put in at the previous step. Now, what you also need to do is have the verification URL. So the 
verification URL is the URL of your website. You need to put that in here and have the same phone number on the website so that Google can verify the phone number. So you're not going to be able to run the ad if you don't have this. You need to make sure that the phone number is actually on the website. Now, the second thing is you can put a final URL in here if you want. And let's say we were to put my website. What's going to happen is you're going to get this visit website link down here and it's going to allow people to visit your website. So this is basically the opposite of a search ad, like the other search ads, like the text ones where they click and go to your website. You can put the phone number at the bottom. This is opposite. This has the phone number at the top and then they can go to your website if they want. However, you don't have to put this if you don't want people to do that. If you just want phone calls, you can just leave that empty, but you do have to put the verification URL to verify the phone number. You can also set the display path here so that it shows at the top. So let's say for instance, family law, you see that you can put that in there and it's going to show up in the URL. And now you've got two headlines, the business name and two descriptions. So in here, you would just do same thing as like a regular ad. You would just want to put two headlines and try and get the person's attention and ideally have the keywords. You could do something like, you know, best law firm in Auckland. Actually, you'd want to have the word family in there in this case. This is just an example. It's not necessarily the best headline, but I'm just saying this is how you would do it. And then you would do, we do, you would want to have some kind of CTA typically in the second one. So I'll just do call us now, something like that. And they'll incentivize people to click the ad. And then you'd want to have the business name. So they'd say just Auckland family lawyers. I'm just making this up. And then in the description, you know, we handle all types of family cases divorce more call us now too. so that's just an example of two descriptions you could write again just for the purpose of this video but that's how you would do that now you've got call reporting turn on what this means is it's actually going to report on the calls so you can see you can find out when they were made received how long they were and the calls the caller's area code so this is just for reporting to google and then you can select the conversion so in this case we've got the calls from ads one or you can select only one if you want only one i would recommend you do that select only the phone call one for this particular case this you can typically leave unless you got some specific tracking needs you can usually leave this blank you can hit done i would recommend that you make a couple of variations of these ads and then test them so make two or three however many the account lets you do i think you can do three with these and then let them run see which ones get the best results and then drop the ones that get worse and make new ones based on the ones that get better results and that's how you do that over time that's why you'd leave them to rotate and definitely instead of google trying to optimize for the better ad that allows you to optimize them and improve them over time once you've done this you would hit next now you can set your daily budget to whatever the budget you want to be obviously that's going to depend on you how much money you have to spend in like your particular cpcs and things like that in this case let's just i'm just going to put one dollar because i don't want it to spend all my money when it's just an example campaign and then we'll hit next and now what's going to happen is it's going to just check for any errors and you can see here it's okay so now we can publish the campaign and then that's going to hit it and google will just approve this and then it will go live so that's how you make this campaign from zero one last thing i want to show you is let's say we had a normal campaign i've just made a, a normal search campaign what you can do is you can add a call ad to this account. So let's say for instance, you had an ad group already made. Let's say we've got a example account here, example keyword, whatever. You can go in here and you can actually add a call ad to your current ad groups as it is. So you can see here, instead of hitting responsive search ad, you would hit call ad. And then this allows you to add a call ad in your ad groups with the normal text ads as well. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because you can't set this specific conversion just for this and you can't you know, segment it out and see how it's performing. But you can do that if you want to do that and then the process is exactly the same so that's basically it that's all you really need to know for call ads on google ads this is how you set up the campaign and run them and basically all the little details you need to know so just do these correctly do the keyword research like i showed you in my other video and then you can set this up and let it run so that's really it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you'd like me to coach you on how to run google ads or do seo for only 49 dollars a month go to learn dominate marketing.com and if you'd like us to do the google ads or seo for your business go to dominate marketing.io book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.